All right, so hello there. Today we are going to talk about the list with React. So how to render a list, a good list with React. So like and subscribe and we can start right now. So we are in a pretty simple create React app application with a container and one H1, all right? So in general, we are going to create a list in, we create list with React with the state, the state, the state, the state. So we need to import it first, import use state from React, all right? And then we need to create that state. So we are going to create it right there, but a lot of time it, the, the data come from API or from backend, all right? But right there, we are just going to code it right there, all right? So data and set data equal use state. And inside that use state, we are going to create an array with some objects. And for example, txt, txt1 and id1. So it's not very good to create ID like that, but I will show you a tool that will create some unique ID. But right now we are going to keep it like that. So comma, comma, and you can just change right there to um, two, three and two and three. Great. So we do have some dummy data right there. It's perfect. We can render a list with React. So we need to come there and use the map method. It's already used with React. And every time we do have one array with some data inside, we are going to use the map method. So you can open some curly braces right there and then data data dot map. And for each item inside it, we are going to return an li, li right there. And inside we are going to write, to put the txt from the different object. Okay, and it's working, it's working, it's great, but if we open the dev tools with, with a little F12, and if we just, yeah, refresh it, you will have one error right, right there. So each child in the list should, should have a unique key prop. So we need to give a unique key prop to our child right there because React needs to keep up to understand uh, what has been created. And when we are going to delete something, to modify something, it really needs to understand what's going on with the unique key prop. So the key right there, and we can, for example, give item.id, all right? And if we refresh it, it will work. But the ID right there are not very secure and they are not very, um, they are not unique, actually, you, if you create them, well, if it's a really small app, yes, they, they will be unique. But if it's a, if it's just a normal app, you will have a lot of list. And if you do that for every list, it's, it will not work correctly. React will have some weird bug. All right. So we are just going to use the UID package. So UID right there to install it. You just need to write uh, npm install npm install uid all right and when it's installed you are just going to go there and import one useful method v4 has uid before from uid all right and then you can just use that method like that right there uid uid v4 all right and then you can just log it if you want data zero dot id and now you see that we do have one unique, big, strong ID, and that's way much better. All right. So yeah, this is great. This is great. This is working. This is how we render some list with React. All right. But you need to understand, uh, to really understand something that that map method is returning a new array. It's really returning a new array right there. And in GSX, if you just put an array right there, for example, one, two, three, it will work. It will write one, two, three like that. You need to understand that. And if you put an element, for example, P like that, hello world, hello world, it will return my hello world right there. Even if it's an array right there, you see that it's returning my P. Okay. So what's going on right there? It's the map method will return for each object an ally element with some data inside it. So just test, for example just test all right and uh, you can put as many ally as you as you want you see that it's it's just doing that it's returning uh, it's re returning a new array with some ally inside it all right so it's really important to know that great 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 so this is how we return some list with react you need to 
uh, return it with some key, a unique key prop, and then you can do whatever you want. All right, I hope I've helped somebody. Like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.